as you can see I've got uh, some done some re research uh, the other day on dresses worn by women on a uh, wagon train and uh, this was from a movie called Meek's Turnoff uh, the movie and uh, I was able to take some snapshots from the movie and it was accurate I mean even down how boring <laughs> being on a wagon train was and how tough it was for, on women and men but anyway and you can see this kind of like the hairstyle I've got a little looser because um, it uh, would get loose after a day of uh, traveling in the wind and the, the, the uh, sun and all that stuff um, anyway I'm going to uh, continue working on this figure I changed uh, the hairstyle again only because I found out I did the hairstyle wrong and uh, I got it corrected now and I just got to detail the hair and uh, I'm going to try to do it quickly because I've got to go to dinner again tonight and uh, I want to get as much done as I can before I go. Time to play with some clay. do is I'm gonna put some hair texture I'm gonna show a little bit more on this video because there's no big secrets I'm, I'm revealing here today I just got to find the right tools to do this with I'm just gonna try to put some texture in her hair I want to have the part in her hair just a little higher there we go Now, she's going to have a blanket over her head. It's going to be coming over the, from his back, over her head, and down uh, tight against her uh, neck, and then loose and then blowing off in the wind here. And so I'm just going to put more detail in this hair here because this more of this hair on the, this side of her head is going to be showing than on the other side. You can't sculpt every hair. You uh, just have to try to indicate hair as best you can. But uh, there's just so much you can do because, quite honestly, you can't basically sculpt every hair. So you try to indicate the mass now the reason I haven't put her on with him yet is because uh, the fact that I've got to get this side of the hair at least as detailed as I can because her head's going to be back against his shoulder and neck and uh, so I'm just gonna do the detail on this side and not the other side there's no need to overdo what you do in other words if you're not gonna have something showing don't Overexert yourself unless, unless you just want to learn and practice working on the hair on the other side. That's fine. But I'm one for economy of movement <laughs> and of uh, time because you could spend months doing all the small stuff and then have it all covered up and other than learning and teaching yourself uh, it doesn't do any good as far as the sculpture the final sculpture goes so Now 
Now this, a lot of this back here is going to be covered by his shoulder. So I'm not going to worry too much about a lot of this. I'm just going to make occasional incisions in the hair to indicate direction of hair. She looks like she's leaning back an awful long ways, but uh, I think it's going to work out okay. I just got to wait till I can put her with him, and I'll adjust all that. Right now, I just all I can do is just do the best I can away from him. <clears throat> So now you can see that the head of her is a lot more proportional to him, even though she's smaller, uh, her head's slightly smaller than his. And uh, I got a little too carried away with the hair on the other side because I, I didn't realize that it would be mostly covered up there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the blanket come up and over the back of her hair in this direction right here. And down there and so a lot of this hair is going to be showing and so I can put a little more detail in that part um, I'm liking the way this is looking right now I'm going to fill in between her and him right now real quick like just to solidify her next to him because uh, they're not going to come apart again I've got to fill in the gap between her head and him because that's too deep and uh, the key is to make it look like there's no fill in but it is but you got to make it easy for the foundry to cast the clay and see you can't really see back in there and you can make that as shallow as you want without compromising the total design of the piece I will come down tomorrow I'm gonna to try to get here early because I want to get this a lot further along than I've gotten it today and uh, we'll see what we can do so now we got the two figures together I think that looks great the way it is um, I'm going to put his arm down and around her waist, which will be under the blanket. And uh, all right, good night, everybody. Um, and I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.